Hello, I'm Evan Brand, Certified Functional Medicine Practitioner and Nutritional Therapist. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about effective binders used for detoxification. Now, when would you need to use binders? Well, in a lot of my protocols in clinic, two major situations when I use binders. So number one situation is going to be a gut protocol. So we're going to use it for gut support. Now, if we're working on bacterial overgrowth, candida, parasites, getting rid of worm infections, etc., there's a lot of debris and excess junk that has to leave the body. And if you're using a lot of different antimicrobial herbs, antifungal herbs, antiparasitic herbs, and you kill, kill, kill too fast, it's like filling up the garbage can and the garbage man never shows up, right? That's a problem. And so, with binders, we're helping to remove the garbage from the situation. Many people find out after they do testing, if they're working with a functional medicine practitioner, they may have parasites or other infections. And the first thing you think of is get this thing out of me, right? Give me all the herbs, give me the supplements, let's kill it, let's get rid of it. But the problem is if you go too fast, you may feel worse. And so people talk about a Herxheimer reaction H-E-R-X. There's a long spelling, Herxheimer, it was a guy who came up with this term, but basically it's a die-off reaction. You feel like crap, you get more sluggish, you may get irritable, you may have sleeping issues, you may have joint pain or a flare-up, sometimes skin issues may happen, you may get like a detox rash, and that can be mitigated for one, going slow and steady with your herbal protocol, but two, using effective binders. So that's step one is the gut support. And then the second situation we would use it would be some type of mycotoxin, which are gonna be the byproducts of mold spores. Or I guess number three, we could just say heavy metals, detox in general, really. The cool thing is these nutrients we're talking about can be used for a wide variety of different toxins. So you may be able to use something like zeolite and activated charcoal in a blend, which would actually detox mycotoxins and heavy metals at the same time. So those are kind of the typical one, two, three situations of when I would use these or just a general IBS situation, right? So if you've got somebody with like an irritable bowel situation, they can't tolerate foods very well, they're having a lot of histamine reactions, they may even have a diagnosis of histamine intolerance, this would be a situation where we'd want to come in and use some of these nutrients. So let's talk about charcoal. Here's the cool thing about activated charcoal. I mean, as you see here, I wrote one gram of this stuff can be equivalent of 32,000 square feet in terms of the surface area. So basically with activated charcoal, the best ones I use come from coconut shells. And if you have a coconut allergy, it doesn't matter. This stuff is burned at a very, very high temperature, 1500 plus degrees Fahrenheit. And what that does is that allows all these little microscopic pores. If you looked at the charcoal under a microscope, you'd see unlimited amount of microscopic pores and it acts sort of like a magnet. So it's an adsorbent. So what will happen is the toxin, whether we're talking mycotoxin, heavy metal, etc., will basically attach on and kind of sneak inside of these little microscopic pores and then it gets drugged throughout your intestinal tract. But this is why you can actually make yourself sick if you do too much binder too fast. So for me, if I do, let's say two capsules of charcoal, I may feel amazing, but then if I bump it up to three, that's too much, I get a headache, or I feel spacey, I feel dizzy, I feel brain fogged. That's because I'm pulling too much mycotoxin out of my system, which I tested for, and I found that on a test result, I pulled out too much mycotoxin too fast. So there is a, a proper dosing, and I would just say start low. Start with one capsule, work your way up, use your practitioner to help guide you, because you don't wanna take this just because. You wanna have a reason, a clinical reason, on a piece of paper, why do I need to do this, and then what am I looking for? What's my clinical outcome? So in my case, it's detoxing mycotoxins and heavy metals. So I wanna go back and look, and six months later, I hope to see the levels have come down by using these binders. So number two, bentonite clay, same category. A lot of products have clay and charcoal together, that's fine. You can have a mixed variety of benefit if you use a mixed variety of binders. So number three, zeolite, it's one of my favorite. There's a million different brands out there. I use professional brands. So if you wanna click below, you'll see some of the resources I use and recommend for zeolite. Uh, fiber and pectin, all right, so here's mother nature's perfect binder, right, is fiber. So when you're using fiber, even in the case of like organic flaxseed, some of my binder products I use have organic flaxseed powder in them, that's gonna help pull and bind to the toxins, including excess hormones as well. So females with hormone imbalances, you can benefit from a fiber slash pectin formula. 
Uh, pectin, something that usually comes from like oranges, sometimes grapefruits, different types of fruits. Uh, apples, you can find apple pectin as well. It's another good thing to pull out all these bad guys. Uh, humic and fulvic acid. So these are really coming onto the market the last two to three years. My buddy, Dr. Jay Davidson has several good formulas that we use that have fulvic acid in them. Those also do the same thing. They pull out and bind to the bad guys. Number six, chlorella. I've got a huge, huge, huge love for chlorella. It's very powerful though. You gotta be careful, especially if you're using a micronized chlorella like we use in clinic. You could have a reaction with just one drop. We're talking a tiny tip of the tongue, one drop of a liquid chlorella. You can have a detox reaction from it. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna help remove heavy metals. It's more focused on heavy metals. We have seen some good data on mycotoxins as well, but my primary use for it is metals. Uh, so we're talking people that had mercury amalgam fillings, you got those removed, hopefully with a biological dentist. Now you're moving on to chlorella to help get rid of those. And then next, the number seven, I don't use this, I can't prescribe, I don't prescribe. So this is why I wrote it on here, just because some people may need to consider this. Cholestyramine, I just wrote CSM for short, and it's a prescription. So you'd have to go to your medical doctor to get cholestyramine. This is a binder, it's a resin. I believe it's like a plastic resin. Don't quote me on the exact details of how it's manufactured. I just know it's not natural, so I purposely don't use it. And I've had plenty, plenty success with these one, two, three, four, five, six natural binders that I haven't needed the prescription. If I was miserable enough, if I had enough problems with me or someone clinically, we may try to outsource this and see if they could get cholestyramine from their doctor. But for me, I'm always gonna go natural because that's just my foundation. That's how I healed and recovered my health. And so for the last 10 years, I've only done these type of methods. I'm not against using the cholestyramine binder. Some people are very, very sick with mycotoxins specifically and this can be a really good binder if you've been exposed to mold. So mold, you know, mold makes mycotoxins, you breathe them in, they end up in the brain, the kidneys, the liver, etc. So you may consider that, but first look at these. Now, before you even get to this, right, what do you do? Well, you gotta test first. So we'll do a part two video on testing for the bad guys, heavy metals, mycotoxins, etc. How do you even find out you have a problem to justify the use of these binders? You might not need them. So don't go out to Whole Foods and go buy a bunch of charcoal if you don't need it. All right, well, if you want to reach out, you can. I work with people around the world. You can click above right here. That'll take you to my website. You can learn more. This is Evan Brand signing out. Take care. Bye-bye.